What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we are looking at another Azul computer. Now, we looked at the Azul Access Plus uh, probably like a year and a half ago and I've actually been using it every day ever since. I, I have it connected to my TV in my bedroom and I use it every night whenever I lay down to go to bed and it works great. I've never had a single problem with it, it's fantastic. But Azul hit me up and they said, hey, we've got the Access 3 coming out, do you wanna check it out? I was like, yeah. Yeah, I do. I love this thing. It's great. So that's what we have. We have the Access 3. Now, don't let the size fool you. This is a full-blown Windows 10 PC. Now, the Access 3 comes with Windows 10 Pro. It's got a quad-core Intel Gemini Lake N4 100 processor, 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 32 gigs of built-in storage. Now, the Access Plus that we looked at before had an Intel HD graphics card. This one has the HD graphics card 500. So instead of 1080p, this one goes 4K at 60 frames per second, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Now, I believe from the looks of it, it looks exactly the same as the original. All right, so first we have a box with got a basic power adapter to micro USB, and we also have a very small HDMI cable. You know, it still amazes me how small this thing is. Look at that. Super small, very slick design. It's a very, very sturdy build. Again, I've been using mine for over a year. It's completely fanless, so it makes no sound at all, which is, again, another plus. You get your HDMI out, so you basically just take your HDMI cable like so, and then plug it into the back of a TV. It's just that simple. You've got your antenna for Wi-Fi. You've got your micro SD card slot. Now it has the built-in 32 gigs of storage, but you can put up to 256 gigs of micro SD storage. So tons of movies, whatever you need, you can slap it in there and carry it with you. Now on the back, you have a lock port. If you have this in more of a stationary position, you can actually get one of those locks that will tie it down, that way it can't be stolen. You've got your ethernet port, you've got a 3.5 millimeter port for headphones, you've got your two 3.0 USB ports, micro SD port for charging, and then you have your power. And that's it, that's the whole thing. Let's plug this thing in. All right, so there you go. I've got it plugged in. I have it coming to the front so you guys can see it, but uh, when you turn it on, you get the blue LED on the top. When it's turned off, it's a red LED as long as it's plugged into power. But typically, it would just hang behind the television. You can also kind of wind this uh, HDMI cable up just a little bit tighter to hide it even further behind the TV. But there you go. That's the whole setup. You've got HDMI and you've got power. Plus, I have my wireless keyboard and mouse. Okay, when you first start it up, you come to the Windows setup screen. So it doesn't come pre-set up, which is a good thing. I'm gonna go through the rigmarole of setting it all up and uh, movie magic. While I'm waiting for this, I totally forgot, it also has built-in Bluetooth 4.0, so you can almost have this thing completely wireless once you plug in the power and the HDMI, which is great. Considering how small it is, that makes it even more convenient. Okay, well, that took maybe four minutes to finish everything, and notice you don't hear anything. The silence, complete silence, nothing. So you can see installed memory, four gigs, 64-bit operating system, Windows 10 Pro, fully licensed, ready to go. Okay, now if the image that you guys are seeing is a little, wow, that is really bright. Uh... Okay, so if the image that you guys are seeing looks a little off, it's because the refresh rate of the monitor and the camera are not 100% in sync. All right, let's do a 4K test playing 4K really well. Now, of course, 4K, being able to stream 4K or be able to play 4K on YouTube, that completely is gonna depend, for one, it will depend on your graphics card, but two, it's gonna depend on your internet speed. Currently, I have it on Wi-Fi. So you can see, bringing up the uh, Microsoft stores, nice and, nice and smooth. It definitely runs really smooth. Ew, ew, did anybody? <laughs> Side note, Aladdin is probably one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. And I love Will Smith, but that looks terrible. The CGI that they did looks horrible. Let me know what you think down below. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, back to this. So again, I've had mine for like a year and this is an upgraded version of it and I've been happy with it. This is not a gaming PC. This is gonna be like your standard basic PC that you'd wanna use it for maybe some multimedia. Like I use it for Netflix all the time, going on the internet, doing web browsing, simple things. This would be perfect if you're a casual PC user or you just need a casual PC to take with you anywhere and you don't really wanna take a whole laptop. I mean, this will even fit in your pocket. As long as you have access to a television or a monitor, you you can plug this in and you've got your own computer with you. Now it is running $230, but I will say as much as I've used mine, I would definitely say that it's worth it, especially if you're looking for something that's super mobile, it's extremely easy to use. I think it's a great little PC. Azul is one of the products that I have extensively tested for a, for over a year now, and um, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Uh, Azul products are great. I'll actually leave a link down below to the other Azul 
Uh, I forgot what it was. There was another Azul PC that we looked at as a miniature one. It's one of the box ones. I don't remember what it was called, but I'll leave a link down below so you can check that out as well. I'm glad to see that they've upgraded their, their smallest unit. I'm a huge fan of it. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, guys, that is it. I'm going to leave links down in the description below as usual. I leave it in your hands, but as for now, get out of here.